Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today it is my favourites video. Um, I haven't done one in a long time, so I thought why not do it today. Um, because I didn't have any videos scheduled, so I thought I'd put it up. So it's my favourites, and there's a couple of empties in there, I think. So, I've been super duper organised, and I've wrote some of the stuff down. So, um, because I'm going to do makeup and lifestyle things that I'm loving at the moment. So, my first one on my list is this. And this is what I'm loving. This is just beautiful, isn't it? Now, I got this in a box swap, and this was from Hillsplith Loves. And I absolutely love it, and it's been sitting on my bed for, um, well, ever since I first got it. And I just love it. Isn't it fabulous? So it's a linen cushion, and I just think it's brilliant. If you're interested, pop it down in the comments below, and I'll ask Helen where she got it for you, so you can send a link. If you're interested in Elvis cushions, but I absolutely am. So that's a definite favourite for this month. This is not a favourite for months, because I haven't done it in so long. So it's just a favourite in general, as an update to my channel. Um, so then... Keeping on with Elvis, there is a new documentary out and it was called The Searcher. Now it was on last night at 9 o'clock on Sky Atlantic and tonight it's on 10 o'clock part 2. So I would recommend it to everybody. So if you're watching this and you like Elvis, it was on last night so it'll be available for catch up. And it's on tonight at 10 o'clock. And it's um, about, a f I think it's about 3 and a half hours or 4 hours worth of Elvis product. And it's about from the start to the finish and beyond because it's still going now, isn't it? So there's so much in there and there's just, it tells you everything you need to know about the man. So I would definitely recommend it. It's a definite favourite. I've watched it four times already. <laughs> Last night was my fourth time, but I dipped in and out of it because I've seen it three times before. But tonight I'm going to watch it because it's after Love Island. Taking on there, Love Island for 2018. This is one of my favourites at the moment. Who else is loving Love Island? Do you watch it? Put it in the comments below, let me know. So, is anybody else loving Love Island? I think it's amazing. There's some amazing people in there. And um, I, when it first started, I thought, I'm never going to get into this. It happened. I am completely enthralled. I love it. So, um, obviously, Adam's been the bad boy of the villa. Not liking him just now with Rosie. Although I wasn't too super keen on Rosie. Gutted that Kendall went last week, which was really disappointing. But tonight we have a recoupling with the boys, so I'll be looking forward to seeing what boy is going to be going. My prediction is... I don't know. I can't think of any. <laughs> so I'll just have to wait and see tonight, but I'm looking forward to it anyway. So if you're loving Love Island, pop it in the comments below. It's fabulous this year, isn't it? Right, okay, and then um, staying on the vein of TV programmes, I'm moving on to The Handmaid's Tale. Has anybody watched it? It's um, The first series is, uh, is available for catch-up on Sky. And the second series I'm in the middle of watching now. So I think we're on episode four or five. And I am just loving The Handmaid's Tale. It is amazing. So if you haven't watched it before, I don't know what I could say to entice you into it. It's um, a tale of a dysfunctional society that has went a bit bonkers because the population had decreased. And they had blamed it on working mothers. Mothers who were putting um, work before they are having children. So they were waiting for longer and all of that, kind of put down to blaming women really and then they take it upon themselves to blame women even further. So if you're a handmaid, you are a woman who is fertile and so you have to provide the citizens of Gilead the um, babies. So you'll have a man and a woman who are like the commanders um, and then they'll have, insist on that handmaid, they'll rape that handmaid and then they'll insist on having that handmaid to have their baby which is just insane. So I don't know if I've sold that to you well, because it's a bit of a bonkers tale. It's based on a book, so um, they can always have free run on a book, don't they? But wow, it's unbelievably good. The soundtrack is amazing. Everything is good about it. I recommend it fully. It is weird. It is a bit crazy, and it is a bit odd and off-putting at some places. So if you're very delicate in your mind, then maybe avoid it. But if you're not so delicate, Go for it because you're going to love it. And then Big Little Lies, which is another series which I just loved. And it's only had the first series, so we're waiting on the second one now. But I recommend it with a million, trillion percent. You will love it. Right, they're all the series that I'm enjoying and watching just now. And my cushion that I had to show you. Now I'm going to go on to a little bit of beauty. And the palettes first. These are the palettes that I'm loving. This one I am loving. 
because I just got it the other day and I've put up two videos already so I'm going to be putting up even more uh, because I just want to play with it all the time. But I did a simple eye look for the um, school run today and yesterday I did one and that was really simple with just using run and late and every day. It just came out really, really nice, those two colours, so that worked really, really well. Today I have just used Infinity and that's it. I primed my eyes, put on Infinity and off I went because I was rushing this morning, it was bath time, we were ready to go. So it does lend itself to easy eye looks, just a swash of colour and it gives you an instant kind of hit, so I like it. So I would recommend this, this is £10 and this is Soph Does Nails Extra Spice, but her first palette is just as good if you're after that one too. Then the next one is Naked Heat Petite. I am loving this Petite Heat. It is an amazing palette and I dip into it all the time. I'm using it all the time. So it's just a really, really good palette. £26 for this one. So you really could just go for the Soph palette. But if you're after Urban Decay, because they blend like a dream, this one I would definitely recommend before you go buy the full one, because I think all the colours in here are gorgeous. So that is it for palettes just now that I'm loving. For a brush that I'm absolutely loving and just dipping into all the time is this one and it's the Carl Lagerfeld and it's with Model Co. And this brush is just for putting it on my blusher and I don't know why but it's just a fabulous brush. I have a Spectrum one and it doesn't put on my blusher as good as that. Brushes are bonkers to me. Sometimes I just think it's only a brush and yet I like it better. So anyway, this came out of a glossy box. Um, it was like a... It was a special edition box that I got from Glossy Box, and I am loving this brush. Like, if you can get your hands on this, this is a good brush. I promise. Swear on my life. It's good. Right, and then we have the Wipeout Cloths, which I have had quite a few from my box swaps. Um, a few people have known that I'm, I really love these. So I have one, two, three, and a fourth. So um, this one was in a subscriber box recently. Now, this wee baby one I got from... Birch box, look at the state, because I am using this one just now. So I use them like for a couple of days, three, four days, then I put them in the washing machine and move on. So this one has got the most beautiful smell though, and I've resisted putting it in the washing machine because I like the smell. Is anybody weird like that? So anyway, I'm going to move on to this one now, I think, and put that one in the washing machine. But anyway, I love these, these are fantastic. If you're interested in getting these, I recommend them fully. They are not a waste of money, they're so good. Now other people might not like them but I really do. They're Magnetone London Wipeout, the amazing microfiber cleansing cloth, removes makeup with just water and it does. But what I do is a combination of this plus this which I am loving. I got this in Glossy Box and this is Cushy Makeup Remover. And I'm buying this again, 100%. It's £10 and I love it. I think it gets off everything. Now if you use this in combination with this, your eye makeup, it, there's no need to worry about your eye makeup. It's going to come off. You're never going to need to worry about it. And I just like it that you don't need to use chemicals on your skin. You're just using that oil. And then I use a micellar water and I take off the rest of my stuff. And I think my skin has cleared up. But then that could be my diet because I am loving Slimming World at the moment. It's been an unbelievable journey so far and I'm just loving my diet. I have lost about... Um, one stone eight pounds now and it's just coming off so beautifully and I just had a potato salad just then I'll put it in a side bit I mean you can eat a potato salad I think that's bonkers I know salad's lovely but potatoes potatoes and I had like four it's massive <laughs> and then last week I had two of them and I still lost two pounds so I just think it's genius I love Slimming World so that's another love of mine at the moment if you're interested I have another channel which is Slimming World with Mish and I put up a vlog up there every single fr uh, Tuesday, sorry. It's not very exciting, it's just what I've done that week and sometimes it's just a brief chat. There's really nothing to that channel but I will keep you updated on what I'm losing and how I'm feeling in the week. And I also have an Instagram, Slimming World with Mish and I post every single picture of my breakfast, lunch and dinner and that's been every single day for eight weeks and five days. <laughs> no, nine weeks and five days. So it's been ages. So I just post and post and post. So if you're interested, pop on over there and have a look. All right, taking on now to this. And this has been in my favourites videos way back when, because it is my favourite. This is Creme Moana, and it's a tiara flower. You get it on uh, Birchbox, and it's £15. 
and it's just unbelievably beautiful. It's the nicest smell in the world. I had a sample in Birchbox when I first started getting it. And then my husband bought me this for my birthday. So this is a year old and the smell is still there. I probably shouldn't be using it. 12 months since opening. So I'm just like a month over now. But I'm still using it and it's still working. And obviously I don't cream my body that much. But if I'm going on a night out or I'm going somewhere for a day trip. Then I pop this on just for that smell. I don't use it every day. It's more for special occasions. But the smell is divine. Then I'm going to move on to my tanning process that I'm doing just now. I'm absolutely loving my tan. And this tan is genius. I got it in a um, subscriber box just last week, I think. And I just love it for the face and the neck. I don't use it everywhere. I used it on my legs. I've got a little video. I'll pop it. You'll be hearing it. You'll see it now while I'm talking to you. So you hear my voice, but see my legs. And that was the tanning process of my... Um, one leg with this tan and the other without and I just think it's genius so I'm saving up. It's only £20. I think on Look Fantastic it's £16 but I don't have the pennies now because I'm going on holiday so I'm going to try and save up to get it because this is genius. So every night I've just been popping it on and um, it's just been giving me a lovely glow. I didn't put it on last night or the night before because I thought well I don't want to use it all because it's like a tiny sample and I'm trying to keep it for when I'm going on holiday. But honestly, it doesn't make your skin come out in spots. It doesn't smell. It's not sticky. It's oil, so it easily goes on. So easily. It feels like you're moisturising. And it's completely organic. It's 100% organic. And it's all natural and got organic ingredients. So this just seems like a no-brainer for tanning. So I absolutely love it. So this is it. And it's tan organic. And it's self-tan oil. And I just love it. Um, then on to concealers, so when you need to conceal after you've tanned, put your uh, foundation on. And these ones I am loving. Collection. Collection concealer and I got this in a box swap from Creative Misfit, so thank you Creative Misfit. And I just love it, I love it for under here, priming my eyes, it's just a brilliant product. Um, this colour, I don't know, it's quite pale, fair one, and I love it. Then there's this one, which is the MAC concealer. And this is Pro Longwear Concealer, 9 mils MAC. And this is how it looks. Now, if you're after a concealer, this is fantastic. It conceals everything. I'm wearing it today now underneath my eyes and around where these spots, well, one, two spots are. And it just conceals fabulous. I totally recommend that. It's a really, really good product. So they're my two concealers that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Then we have the foundation that I've been loving and it's gone, it's an empty. So that's why I said it's kind of like a faves plus an empties. <laughs> Only one empty out of the whole thing. Uh, yeah. Right, okay, so this is it and look, it's finished. I'm at the end. I have been loving this foundation. This is amazing. It's a baked balance and brighten foundation in Fair and by Laura Geller. And it's just honestly amazing. So that's how it looks. And it just goes on like a powder but then it goes on just so beautifully and I've seen a note uh, I have noticed a difference in my skin I think my skin was better without caking myself in um, foundation you just swish it over the top of your face with a little bit of concealer for all my bad areas because there are some people out there who have an amazing skin and they're the luckiest people in the world I have very uneven skin tone I have freckles I have black lines I have lots going on wrong with my skin, I have blemishes, so I need a heavyweight foundation. But with increasing my water, doing better in my diet, um, doing really well with my skincare, it's allowed me then to use this as well as concealer. I do need extra help, but yeah, I just love it. When I get a new one, which I hope to buy a new one, because that's this and the self tan that I need, um, I will do a video on this. I wish I had done it when I had more in there. But I thought it would last for longer. But yeah, it's a fantastic, genius product. And if you're after foundation like that, I recommend that one. And then we have lipstick. Lipsticks are my favourite. And this lipstick is my ultimate favourite. And it's the Gingerbread Phase Zero. And I think it's still on there, on the account. Love Me Beauty. Because that's who does the Phase Zero. Yeah, the Phase Zero makeup. And it's just the nicest. I mean, I have a colour on just now which is the softest nails but we'll stick over the top and it dries so nice and it dries to matte 
and I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Just a really, really nice lipstick and I totally recommend it. And the toppers that come with them, well they don't come with it, but you can buy it separately or like Prosecco or um, Halo. There's other colours but they're really, really nice and I recommend them as well. Right, we're nearly at the end. I've got one skincare thing to do and that is this one here. I've been using this every single day and I think it has helped my skincare as well. It's for more morning to combination sensitive skin. It smooths skin, reduces fine lines, rehydrates and intensifies. And it's Smart Nutrient Vital Moisture Hyaluronic Acid Day Cream. And um, it, honestly, it's just a really, really good moisturiser. It's fabulous. I think it just makes my skin feel good before I put on my makeup. And I think there has been a definite increase in how my skin is looking. But that is a combination of factors. I don't think you can just use this and have a medical skincare um, difference. I think you have to use it amongst other things like your eating, your drinking and lots of other things. That's for me anyway. It's all personal. Some people can eat like pigs and still have amazing skin like my husband. But I am not so lucky. I am definitely influenced by factors all around me. So this has definitely been helping in conjunction with lots of other things. Right, last two things. This brush has been, I love it, it's like, it's my Spectrum B08 brush, it's a B08 Spectrum. Now I've been loving it to do my concealer and that takes us on to the last product which is Model Co Concealer and it looks like that. Now it's tiny, we got it in Birchbox, so yeah, we always tiny, but I'm just loving this brush to put on your concealer around here. I got a tulip one from Birchbox once, but it was just too big and um, I'd hoped it for this job but this job is just so beautifully done with this brush. Now I've had it for a while but I don't think I've included it in a favourites so I thought I had to do it now. So yeah I'm loving the Model Co highlighter and it's froze and this is 1.5 grams as always with Birchbox they're so naughty and the B08 Spectrum brush which is just such a nice one. It's in a set and I have put that up on my channel. Go on over to have a look it's somewhere on my channel. You and will see I've done a review of all these because I got the set for my Christmas. Right okay. Phew. That is me done. That is like the longest video and that is I hope you've enjoyed all my favourites and what did you think? Have you got favourites in there amongst all the stuff I've just mentioned? And yeah. That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on that. I know it was long winded, but I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I do have a last one. This isn't a favourite scent. This is not a favourite scent. And if you are buying scents, I wouldn't recommend this. It doesn't last. It's fresh, but it doesn't last. You're not going to smell it after you've put it on at the start of the day. But the bottle is my absolute favourite. Look at that. How cute is that? I mean, that is the cutest bottle you've ever seen. And you lift up the lid and then spray like normal perfume of course but the bottle is just divine and I'll always keep this bottle on my vanity table because it's just so cute it's like a little talking point isn't it so yeah it's Machino Eau de Toilette and it works great on at work on a date to a formal event and much more learn more Machino fresh <laughs> so yeah it's a fresh scent it's gorgeous it smells beautiful if it lasted all day long it would be the perfect scent but unfortunately it doesn't Alright, that is it. I'm definitely going now. Okay, take care of yourself. Have a fantastic day. And I will catch you on another video soon. Bye bye. Subscribe to my channel. Hello. Comment below. Press the bell button. Thumbs up. Thank you.